Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about gesture state. Uh, so we're going to be using gesture state uh, to basically uh, compute or uh, give the initial value um, of the view, so of the offset. So we basically our view can go and reset on that. And we're going to we're going to be using updating uh, our function or updating uh, uh, modifier. Uh, it's not a modifier, it's actually function, but it works as a, as a modifier. So updating modifier slash function to basically uh, get our translation working and observation for the translation working. And then when um, when our drag gesture is done, it's automatically going to be um, basically resetting back uh, depending upon what edge gesture state has defined to be the initial value for that particular property. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. So instead of uh, defining this as uh, at state, we're gonna say it's gonna be at gesture state. Okay, and the uh, private var um, offset, CG size, and we still wanna uh, give it a zero. And uh, we're gonna say at gesture state, private var. You can also take a look at animation and gonna set. So I'm gonna show you like how you can change these updating um, observations uh, on gesture state and uh, into the same drag gesture to basically uh, make them work uh, like you know side by side. So you can say animation. Start linear. Okay. Um, so resizable frame is good, offset is good, scale to fit, and um, then we need shadow, and we can say animation is gonna be value of animation that we have defined. Then let's go ahead and give it a gesture. And so this is once again gonna be drag gesture. And uh, we're going to be using updating, okay? And this actually gives us a gesture state, the state that we need to actually observe. And we're going to say this time we are observing offset. Uh, so modify the offset according to that. And it gives us value, state, translation. And uh, we simply say state and assign the state to the value and translate, value dot translation. And this state is actually a representation of this offset, current value of the offset. So that's what it's actually doing. It's taking the current value of the offset and assigning that value dot translation into that, okay? We can also chain this. So we can say updating. And this time we can say self dot dollar animation. Translation and simply say state is equal to animation dot is in and out. And we can give it a duration of 20. Okay, and it's going to go back to the linear when the animation ends. So let's go ahead and take a look what we've got. And we're going to resume. And there we go. Let's go ahead and run. Okay, so if you notice, we can actually move our view and see how delay it is. Like, you know, it's taking so much time for you to reach our cursor or our drag position. And uh, as soon as I let go, there we go. The initial value is restored. Just like that, okay? So you can actually make it five, so it's not that slow. Still much faster. Uh, it gives like a fluid um, animation uh, to view following uh, your view. And then as soon as you let it go, it actually snaps back with its initial state like that, okay? 
So yeah, so that's how you can use gesture state uh, to define your uh, initial uh, locations or initial values uh, for your drag view and then set those values um, by observing uh, them and setting them into the, the because they're called state, you set them onto the state with the value property that's been defined. And value property and state, uh, prop, uh, basically state property changes depending upon the type that you're observing. So in this case, you're observing animation, so you can see the animation is being uh, changed and the state. And in here, offset, which is the size, is being um, is being observed, that's why it's being changing um, uh, there in that updating function, okay? So hope uh, that is, uh, that that is actually clear and gives you some valuable information about drag gesture. So uh, once again, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And we're gonna see how we can actually take this uh, drag gesture and leave the view where it is. So basically, uh, drag to a point, leave it there, and it'll stick there. Uh, so that sort of uh, scenario we'll cover, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in next video.